What's up sports fans and welcome to the Sports Shack hosted by Jay Kerr and myself Buddy Burns. Right now we're going to continue what we've been doing part three breaking down the March Madness uh, sleepers. Not breaking down just saying who we think is going to be the sleeper team in, yeah, the, in the first round. In the first round. And so. now we're going to be talking about uh, the southeast uh, region. Yep. Now this Pittsburgh's region so yeah. Want to throw that yeah, out there? Fucking man. Okay, but you keep on throwing Pittsburgh. You know what my team is for real? What? The Blue Devils. I know I'm wearing green. I'm not supporting them, which I should. Right? Yeah. You think Duke's going to win back to back? I don't know. It, it could happen. I, don't I know. wouldn't say. Uh, I would love for them to win back to back, but they're going to go. They're going to go far in this tourney. And I'm banking on that. I don't care what the spread is. Depends, I guess, depends the type of team that they play. They can play some tough teams, but I think when they're really dialed in, they're going to be tough to beat. Okay, right? since we got, uh, got it out of the way who you're going for and who I'm going for, let's get down to our sleeper picks. Okay. Teams that really don't have the following like the two teams we just mentioned. No, definitely not. And one of them, and I actually like these two teams. They're both good teams. That's why we pick right? them. Old Dominion. Versus Boyle, uh, Butler. Butler. Uh, the Monarchs coming out of Colonial Athletic Association. I mean, uh, like to me again, this is like uh, this is the best game in this conference. I mean, in this region because it's uh, it's eight and uh, nine seed going head. Butler, the Cinderella story from last year. Will they be knocked out in the first round this year? Uh, I mean, we're all well, see. even even Old Dominion made a. Made a pretty crazy run last year. They're a good team. Um, you know, they're tough defensively, but... They ran into uh, to a little wall. Well, and, uh, you like your team? I like my team, you know? Yeah. Well, uh, another uh, sleeper in the, the eastern... I mean, the, the southeast uh, region is uh, the Gonzaga versus the St. John's uh, game. I think, uh, you know, St. John's, everybody jumped on that bandwagon. Thought St. John's was gonna be, you know, like really good. I think they just started playing really good. This is still a team that, like I said earlier when we talked about top twenty-five teams, still a team rebuilding. They're not there yet, but they got a lot of talent in place, and they're gonna get some more guys coming in next year. And the guys well, that they have they, now are gonna be better. Could the they, problem is, Gonzaga's legit team. That's uh, another you know, uh, Canadian adopted team. Yeah, they got a few Canadians. They got more uh, BC uh, and then yeah, uh, they have two seven footers from Canada on that team. They got uh, Robert Sacri, kind of a big guy, and then they have another seven footer who can hit threes and shit from Canada. So there's a big team, lots of rebounding. You're not gonna outmuscle them. They got good guards, and uh, you know what, St. John's is gonna be hard pressed to to beat them. Uh, you know, I think uh, Gonzaga Bulldogs are gonna win. And uh, move on to the round of 32. Yeah, because um, I like I just could St. John's be the because like last year can they pull off a run like St. Mary's did last year? Uh, could they be that Saints team that that actually you know what I mean? Because I don't think I don't think, a, I don't think we're going to be as surprised because St. John's is from a big time conference. You know they're from the Big East. And they play in Madison Square Garden. They're from New York City. This isn't St. Mary's from, like, some fucking place in California, tiny little school. St. John's is a big-ass school. Yeah. It, you know? it's, it's actually a shame that we don't have the lines. We don't have the spreads, you know what I mean? Well, I'd say St. John's is favored. I'd probably say by four points. And, and if that's the case, I'm laying my money... Like, you actually think, let's just say, okay, because, like, we're... Like, in our other show, right... That, that the the other brackets we broke down, regions, uh, we we said hypothetically speaking lines, lines? yeah. So yeah, let's I just say that 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 is the line that you said. What was it? Minus three and a half for St. John's. I say yeah, minus four St. John's. Okay. Uh, Butler Old Dominion. No fucking Gonzaga, like that's money. If you pick Gonzaga on money line on like outright I, to win, you think that they can cover a four point spread, yeah, Gonzaga? For sure. For sure. That's what I want to hear about because I like that team. And regardless of what you were what were to say, I was going to play this team, right? I like this team. I don't know what they'll be on pro Canadian, line. Uh, Canadian influence. I don't know what they'll be on pro line. They'll probably be pretty good. If they're in the twos in pro line, that'd be good. Fuck pro line. And we don't mention no, uh, no companies or nothing until we get a check from them. So that's the last time you heard that name. <laughs> 
Okay, folks. Uh, that's pretty much it for that region. Well, we'll talk about one more game. I guess there's one more game we should talk about. Southeast is Wisconsin versus Belmont. And I guess this is like the one where the line is saying Belmont has the chance to upset. Belmont is a good team. They have played some good teams. They played Tennessee twice in Tennessee. Um, they've played some good teams they, from a shitty conference, but they smashed every team. And I think I saw, it was the only line that I, like, stuck out in my head. I think Wisconsin was like four and a half points versus Belmont, I mean. Where the fuck did you come up with this one, buddy? This is a fucking pretty good tip, but I'm telling you, like, I don't think Belmont's going to do it, though. I think Wisconsin's going to smash the shit out of them. Well, that's one, uh... You know, so I don't know. I think that's people a, are... That's a hot tip, man. Yeah, people... I mean, a lot of people even watching this are going to be like, you know, Belmont, Belmont. But I'm telling you, fucking... That's not going to happen. Hey, that's dude, man. Lose. Because everybody's posting up stuff, right? Right and left. Yeah. Okay? You go on YouTube, you see it, right? That's where our show is. Yeah. Right? And also on our on our site. On our website, yeah. Right? And uh, what, everyone's going to give us a little try. They're going to see what we have to say. Basically, yeah. what you have to say because you're all the brains behind if, this. Uh, if this Belmont March wins, I'm gonna have to eat. I'm gonna have to fucking eat my words, aren't I? Like, uh, well, I don't think that's gonna bad, happen, buddy. Because what we we're not telling you guys. We're telling you what we think and what we're gonna do. We're not. If you want to do what we're saying, go ahead. You know what I mean? If yeah. Unless unless you follow all of our picks, you can't fucking because like in any game, anything can happen. So like you know, if you're gonna complain about one or two, that's one thing. But if if, you know, we take 10 picks and we fucking lose 8 of them, okay, yeah, I'm going to eat my words. Yeah, and also, we're pretty much going out on a limb with in the beginning of the tournament, right? It's easier to pick when you're down to 8 teams, right? It's like, you got 1 out of 8 yeah. chances to get it right. It's another thing when we're dealing with what we got to deal with, the amount of teams that we're dealing with. Wow. Well, saying that... This is why people watch us, right? Yeah, exactly. That's why we got our fans. Follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Check out our eBay account at www.thesportsshacklocker.ca. Check out our website, www.thesportsshack.ca, to check out our full bracket. Okay, we're going to post that. So check that out. See us, see us on our website. We say it, we play it.